So how do you do a room under a set of stairs? Well, I'm going to show you the way I learned how to do it. The first thing I would do is I would come over here to the main level tab right here where I'm working and I change the name. So I'm going to go, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to change the name to room under stairs. And then I'm going to add a level above it. You can either click on the plus sign because that does go up a level or you can right click on the tab right there and just say insert level above. And then I'm going to rename that one my main level. Now I've got two empty levels and I'm ready to do the stairs. So I'm going to do the stairs on this main level. And let me just hit the C key and kind of turn it. I'm going to go sideways so it's easier for you to see. And I'm going to put it down and I'm going to go somewhere close to nine feet, which would be from the first floor to the second floor. Nine, four, nine sixteenths is about as close as I can get. So I'm going to put it down there and I've got my set of stairs here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my room under stairs to the level below. And I'm going to come to my auto below here and I'm going to say, show me the main level so that I can see the outline of those stairs. Now I'm going to put a room there. I want to line it up even. I'm going to say I'm going to come to about the third step. I'm not going to go all the way down because honestly most rooms don't go all the way to that very corner. Usually you see a short wall underneath that room under there and it stops and then there's just a void under there. So I'm going to make that room same size as those stairs. There it is right there. Let me move this over a little bit here. And, and honestly, that's the danger of using, if I come here back to my main level and I double click here and I have a variable. So you can see all the variables and we've discussed it before. There's ceiling, ceiling below stairs, floor, floor below stairs. And if you go into the view button, you can say room below stairs. There it is right there. But notice how that's assuming that the room goes all the way to the corner of the stairs. And it rarely does that. Usually it'll come to about right here. And it'll just, you'll have a line and it stops right there. And then this is just empty space that's kind of hidden there. So if you want to do an accurate room and be able to play with it and not have this thing here, let's go back to my view button so I can get rid of that. Here's the way I would do it. So now that I got my stairs drawn, I got my room under the stairs drawn. I'm going to go into the properties and I'm going to say, make that a slope ceiling. And I want the slope to run in this direction. Basically from the low point is the left, right? And it's going up in this direction. So I'm going to click on the orientation button right up here. I'm going to bring my arrow over here. And we learned how to do this in the, I believe it was in the fundamental section. And I'm going to click right there. And now this is my low point and it's going up in this direction. So I'm going to go back into my properties. I'm going to say that my short wall, let's say if I take three steps, it's going up seven. It goes up about seven and a half inches per step. So I got one, two, three, four. So I went up four times. Four times seven and a half is, pardon my, 30 inches. So I'm going to change that to two foot six. There's my 30 inches. And then I'm going to make the tall wall. Well, you got to figure it's nine foot four above. I'm going to take off about, let's say, about 10 inches for that stringer. Let's go with eight foot four and let's see what that looks like. And hopefully you have more accurate measurements because you actually went out there and measured that room instead of just guessing like me. And now let's go into 3D. And let's see what that looks like. Let's take a look at both levels and see. Yeah, that looks like it would fit right up under there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my main level, go into the properties, and I'm going to lower it down to 100, which is going to put it right on top of that room, but not above it, on top of it. So let's try it out and let's see what it looks like. There we go. You can see one is inside the other. It looks like I probably want to lower this ceiling height a little bit. Let's go back and do that. Let's go down to about two feet. And let's try it again. 
That's looking pretty good. Again, you can fine tune this, but I just want to show you the general concept. Now let's go ahead and put a door over here. Let's swing it the other way. And now let's look at it again in 3D. There we go. Let's shorten that door a little bit. And maybe not make it as narrow. There we go. That fits in there nicely. And normally, you know, Xactimate puts 12 inches of floor, 12 inches of wall. It brings them down. Let's get rid of that just so that uh, you can kind of get a better look at this and better idea. I'm going to take all these walls and I'm going to tell it not to extend it. by going. Let's go into the properties and see right there where it says extend exterior surfaces. We're going to say no. And then we're going to do the same thing to the stairs. Don't extend those surfaces. And we may as well change these two to missing above the stairs. Now let's take a look at it in 3D, see what it looks like. And there we go. Got a room under stairs. You can come in here now. Do whatever it is you want in there as far as your estimate items. And it'll do the calculations for you. And you have the variables just like a regular room. And that's how you do a room under a set of stairs. Or at least one way. And now your interior calculations should be more accurate than if you rely on the variables for under the stairs from the room above. Hopefully this video helped. We'll see you at the next one. Well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. I think it's down here somewhere. Or even better, subscribe so that you get to see any of the future videos that I post on here. Have a great day. We'll see you at the next video.